Welcome back to learning about Excel and some of the concepts in Excel. In this session I'm going to cover some of the basic uh, components and doing some basic calculations using Excel. What I have here is a predefined worksheet or actually a spreadsheet with a bunch of worksheets. So notice I have one tab called basic calculations, data filtering, and all types of other stuff. So what I have on these cells is that I have different types of data. The data here is basically either text or numbers. So it's just a matter of typing something here in each one of those cells. Okay, so at this point, what we are gonna do is we're gonna figure out how to add those numbers up using a formula because the benefit and the advantage of using Excel is the use of formulas. So here's one thing to keep in mind as you're dealing with spreadsheets. It doesn't matter what application you're using, they all pretty much use the same concept here. So usually all formulas in Excel start with an equal sign. That's how the computer knows that this, uh, what you're entering in there, it's a formula, it's gonna be a calculation of some sort. Then there is the function. We'll learn about functions shortly. For example, sum. So it would be equal sign, SUM, and then the starting point for your range, so it could be B1, all the way through uh, B10 and then close parentheses. So you have the equal sign, the function, then the starting point in your range, colon, and then the end point in your range. This is one of the key concepts. It's very important that we remember this in our study of Excel. So now let's go to, uh, back to Excel here. So let's say we want to add all of these numbers up. There are a couple ways of doing it. One of them is by using the auto sum function right here. But uh, I want to show you how you can calculate and enter this calculation by using the uh, formula. So like we said earlier, it starts with the equal sign. Then we start with the starting point, which is actually the next thing that we add here is sum, S-U-M, then open parentheses, and then we type C5 colon C13. So we want to start on C5 and then end on C13. Then we close parentheses. And then we hit enter. So the total of all of these numbers is 1386 at this point. Notice that's the formula that we are using. So that was one way to enter the formula. Now another way to enter the formula is by using the equal sign, the function, and then open parentheses, and then just drag the mouse over the range where you want to select the numbers. So from the starting point to the end, and then you let the mouse go. Then hit enter. And notice we get the same values. Now one other cool thing here with Excel is that, and this is where the power of Excel comes in, that uh, you can change one of those values from 100 to 200 and notice what will happen as soon as I hit enter. It will change the total automatically. So the next thing what you can do here is of course you can use the automated calculation from here from the toolbar under the editing tab and then in there for example we want to add all these numbers. You can click on auto sum here or just click on the drop down and choose sum and now Excel will try to figure out as to what you want to calculate. However, you have to be very careful as to what the program is selecting because sometimes you may not want just like that way. You want it a, a different range. So that's why I wanted to show you the other method first, the manual way. So hit enter here and this will be calculated and coming to 1972. The manual way, which is what I actually recommend to get used to this is equal the function sum and then select the range even the one that is blank make sure you select it because at some point you might add a number in there and then it will give you the total here once I hit enter so if I added something in that blank one because I had it in the range it's going to calculate correctly so that's a couple ways of entering the formulas to add a bunch of numbers up so again equal sum Notice if you don't put the parentheses, what happens? So equal, sum, open parentheses, and select the range. 
Now you'd say, well, why can't I always use this drop down from here? The reason for that is because in the next version of Excel that might not be available or in open office that might not be available or in Google Docs if you're using the, the sheets in uh, Google Docs that may not be available the same way like uh, the button there so you need to know the logical way of how to do this. The other reason is because if I go and I want to put the total for this column back here if I click on the auto sum the computer does not know or it's not picking the right range here so notice it's picking these numbers. So what you can do is you can select the range with the mouse and then hit enter and notice we have now the total back here. So the idea is that you can in any cell you can reference other cells. Again you would not put each number manually here like 300, 500. Always put the reference for that number. So C5 the address because you can change the numbers at any point and then those values will be updated automatically. So now at this point let's learn another trick here. So let's say let's say that I wanted to put the, the totals for these other numbers in here. There's a feature called autofill here. So instead of you having to enter the formulas for each one of those, they are all exactly the same. What you can do is you hold the mouse on the bottom right and when it changes to a little plus sign, the thin one, not the thick plus sign, so not, not like that, but this kind, then you drag it to the right. And that will give you the totals appropriately. And the way it works is that you can use this from left to right or from top and down. For example, if I wanted to get the total here, let's say I have the first formula here. So in this case, the formula would be equal. Let's say I wanted to get the total for training for all the months. I would have the equal sign, then the function sum, and then the starting range and the end range. So C3 through E5. Hit enter. Notice it comes with 800. Instead of me entering these values or these formulas in every one of those cells, and sometimes you may have 100 cells or 200 or more, what you can do is you utilize the autofill feature. So all you do is you click on the cell that has the formula already in it, and then you drag it down after you click on the bottom right when the mouse changes to uh, just a little plus sign, then drag it down, and then let it go. So notice all of those numbers now add up for example to 832. So that the concept here is using the autofill feature. The autofill feature comes in very handy for anything that is in a sequence. For example if you want let's say uh, to type the days of the week and you want to fill those days in a sequence instead of you having to type them manually what you can do is just type the first day of the week and then drag it down. I guess this should have been uh, Sunday the first day of the week so let's do Sunday and then drag it down. If you wanted to do months of the year so you type 1 and then drag it down and you get the idea here you can do it for numbers you can do it for uh, actually for numbers you have to be uh, cautious here if you drag this down for actual numbers. By default it's uh, leave it with the current number but notice there is a drop down here under the autofill options. And you can choose autofill and then choose fill series because it's seeing as numbers and it's basically giving you a chance to leave them alone the way number and just replicate it or just go to the next uh, number up. So you can choose fill series and then it'll do what you probably were looking to do to start with. You can also use this feature, the autofill feature, by typing, let's say, things in a sequence. For example, 1 and 4. Let's say you want to have like 3 in between two numbers. What you do is you select that range, for example, 1 and 4, those two cells, and then you drag this down together. So notice I had selected both of them, and I notice it says, 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, and so on. So we have 3 in between those two numbers that we started with. And it gives us a sequence of it. So that's basically the autofill feature. So let me get rid of those quickly here. And let's get back to some of the formatting or uh, different components here on the 
formatting of the text. As far as formatting of the text, it's actually pretty easy. Just like in Microsoft Word, you'll select the text and make it larger or smaller, just like in Word. You can also uh, select a whole bunch of cells. Notice here, like it says uh, using Excel, but it's kind of indented slightly to the left. You can select this whole range here and then go ahead and change it so that it merges all of those cells and it centers that component. So the concept that we are learning here is the actual merge and center. Now that we merged and centered it, you can make this font larger and customize it the way you want it. Notice there are also styles that you can use for those cells under the formatting here, just like in Word, there are different styles. And here you can use, for example, heading one or title or something like that. So depending on what you want and how you want the style here. As far as formatting of the numbers, notice you can select these numbers, the range here, and then format them. There are some little quick uh, access toolbar type of thing here regarding numbers or different uh, commonly used tools or you can click on the drop down and let's say you want to format that as currency so you click on currency here and it's going to put the dollar signs with the decimal points as well as far as further formatting here keep in mind that like i said earlier there is also the style formatting so that would be the easiest to utilize and you can pick any of those or you can format things manually by you selecting the, the, a range of cells and then changing here the background color to what you may be interested in. And I'll show you more a little bit uh, more on conditional formatting and that type of stuff uh, briefly uh, shortly here in another one of those videos. Mm -hmm.